A problem that I've run into quite a few times is when I'm trying to face long or oversized stock that has a center in it. A good example was the tailstock hand wheel I made a while back. It had to be supported using a live center in order to face it, though with it supported, I couldn't face it entirely due to the live center. Now if this lathe had a steady rest, I could use that, but since I don't have one, I've always had to work around this issue. For example, I was able to go in and drill out the part that I wasn't able to face. However, I have run into a situation where this won't work. The stick out on the aluminium is a bit long, and the first thing I really want to do is face the end. Now I was told a while back about these half centers that are made for this exact reason. The price seems reasonable, but I do have a better idea. What I have here is the dead center that came with the lathe. I'm sure most lathes come with one for the tail stock, and to be completely honest, I don't think I've ever used this one. The live center is just more convenient, and the taper is too small to be used in the headstock. So I thought I could make good use out of it by turning it into a half center. Looking at the pictures online, it looks like a regular center with a flat ground into one side. It's not ground all the way to the center, so I'll need to decide how far in to grind. Typically, I might use a number 4 center drill to drill out the center, so what I'll do is I'll measure the diameter on the center drill and I'll mark it out on the center. Now, I'm pretty sure there's many ways of doing this, but I think the easiest way of doing it is just to grind away the material using the bench grinder. It's not particularly high precision work, so doing it freehand should be fine. The most important thing though is to keep the center cool. The center is made from a heat treated hardened steel to ensure that the wear is kept minimal. So if I let the part heat up too much, I risk softening it and I'll have to go in and re-harden it. And that looks pretty good. I drew it out a center hole and loaded the center into the tail stock. As you can see, there's now a small gap between the work and the center, and this should allow me to face the part. Looking at it though, I think the gap should be slightly larger. And that looks a lot better than it did before. Now since I don't use dead centers, I don't exactly have the most suitable grease on hand. What I've done is I've loaded it with the same stuff I used for the roller bearings. So hopefully for a small facing operation, this should be fine. And you know what, that's actually pretty decent. The result is a lot better than I would have gotten if I just faced the part without the tailstock. Overall, for 5 minutes at the grinder, machining a tool that I never use into a tool that I'm probably going to use more often, I'm decently impressed. I intend to use this only for facing cuts. Once I face the part, I'll probably swap it out for a live center, but I'm very happy with this tool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, hope you learned something new, and with that, I'll see you next time.